Coming up in today's video, Joey and I have our first ever gallop since his injury. We get some super cool drone shots, but also come across some very scary cows. Hello everybody and welcome back to another helmet cam, groom, tack up and ride with me. On this particular ride I decided to take Joey up to the hills and we had a bit of drama with some cows and we also got the drone up as well and got some really cool shots so be sure to carry on watching to see that in a sec but anyway the first thing I do is put everything in the horse box. I like to do that first just so then I don't accidentally forget something especially if for whatever reason I'm in a bit of a rush to get going. Anyway once I've grabbed Joey and popped him in the wash bay it's then time to get him clean. Today he had so many shavings and so much mud stuck to him too so he did need a good old brush down which I can't lie was very satisfying but I do think he's been enjoying a lot of rolling lately. After that I then pick out his hooves make sure there's no sort of mud or stones or anything in there that's going to be uncomfortable on our ride and I also added some hoof ointment because the ground this time of year is so dry and I just feel like their hooves get really dry as well so that gives them a bit of a moisturize. I also just got a wet sponge and sponged off any sort of stable stains which makes Joey look a little bit more presentable and then once I put his travel boots on he always does this weird walk to start with where he kind of picks his legs up too much. Oh I kind of call it his chicken walk. Anyway once he's all loaded up it's then time to drive to the hills and I've got to say the views here are absolutely incredible. So once we arrive I just open everything up and of course get the boy out. He always likes to have a good look wherever we go. He was absolutely mesmerized by a lot going on today. So there was sheep, there was also a paraglider that he kept looking at too. So if you see him giving the side eye, that's because he's given it to the sheep and giving it to the paraglider. Once his travel boots are off, it's then time to tack him up. So I put on his saddle pad, his saddle, his breastplate. Here you can see him watching the paraglider and watching the sheep. He was just, uh, he's a very nosy boy as you can see even when I was doing my girth up he wanted to see what was happening. Because we're going to be doing a lot of galloping today I put some boots on to protect his legs then I grabbed my helmet and then last but not least put on his bridle of course had to make sure it was all neat and comfy for him and then once I was on we just had a little walk around and of course there had to be a tractor that went past too so Joey had a lot to look at today and yeah to top it all off there was also some cows in the first field that we had to go through. Now Joey has seen cows before but I don't think he's ever been this up close and personal to them so I wasn't too sure what he was going to be like with them. He's genuinely quite a brave horse as you would have seen with the tractor, the sheep and also the paraglider but he was he was just looking. He just kind of likes to make sure that he knows what's happening. He's looking at everyone. There was even a bull there as well that was absolutely huge so he had like a tiny little baby spook at the bull and then he was like actually you know what I'm all right. Um, so yeah, even some of the cows just weren't bothered about him at all, didn't even bother <laughs> getting up. Um, here I was a little bit worried going through these two cows, but he was very, very you good so boy. Good. You are amazing. Hi cow. Heart starts beating out my chest. Breath strains in and out. Fought this feeling long enough Can't escape you now Just a word, just a glimpse I'm a soul in eclipse overtaking My defense is for you The altar call for my saving
okay I'm so high that you take my breath away Get a little closer every step I take My time, my money, my ease Take it all from me till it ain't nothing left, okay I got a brand new feeling Take me up, need a brand new ceiling Said you can't do but man, you did it Trying to live without you like now once Joey and I were back from our absolutely incredible ride, he had so much fun. I just took off his saddle and his bridle, put on his head collar, also um, took off his boots as well and then put his travel boots on afterwards. Of course, I had to take some pictures because he is a little cutie. Uh, made sure he was all comfy in the horse box with the fan on so it was nice and cool and that he had his haylage net and then it was time to drive all the way back home. Once we were back, it was then time to open up the horse box and get Joey out as soon as possible because he always has like such a fast walk when I lead him out like he literally leaps out of the horse box especially compared to Casper who kind of dawdles a little bit like he gets down very slow and steady anyway the next thing to do was to give Joey a bit of a shower down especially as it was quite a warm day we did give him a little bit of a shower down with a bucket and sponge up on the hills but I always find it's so nice just to give him a full-on jet wash Joey didn't used to be the biggest fan of being hosed down but he gets used to it after a little while you can see at first he's a little bit more sensitive I think it's because he just really hates the feeling of the water dripping down him here I give him a little bit more of a scrub with my hand where he gets a little bit more sweaty where the saddle obviously goes and then once I've done that side it's then time to go around to the other of course I make sure that I get his legs as well especially where he's been wearing boots to protect them um, sometimes I just find it's nice to give them a little bit of a hose down a cool down to and then Joey has a right old pace on to walk all the way back down to his paddock it looks like he could literally go and do that hack twice more for some reason he still has a lot of energy that goes for his half thoroughbredness anyway um, then once I've turned him out just give him a little pat and then of course he goes and has the biggest roll but anyway Joey and I had so much fun on our ride I really hope you enjoyed today's video it was actually really nice because I think this was actually our first ever gallop back since his injury. I know I've been working him for quite a while since his injury but I just haven't had the opportunity to literally let him run, let him go. Obviously didn't push him too much, I only let him go as fast as he kind of wanted to. We were also really lucky with the weather. We decided to go like first thing in the morning because recently in the UK it has been so hot here. Also up on the hills there's quite a lot of breeze, like it is quite windy so normally when I'm up there I'm absolutely freezing and usually wearing a jacket so to just be in a low top I was the perfect temperature which was lovely and also I was just so proud of Joey especially with the drone and you can see in this clip here he was just absolutely incredible so anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time bye